Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another playoff edition of your San Diego Padres franchise here on MLB 15 The Show on the PS4. We are here at Nationals Park, Washington DC, game number 2. The Nationals hold a 1-0 series lead here after defeating the Padres in game 1, 6-3. They were down early 3-0 but came storming back with 6 unanswered runs and won the game. After much speculation, many thought it would be Max Scherzer going to the mound for the Nationals, but they will send out the right-hander Jordan Zimmerman. Meanwhile, the Padres will send out Andrew Kashner to the mound here at this 2015 NLDS. As the second game in this park is just about set to get underway. So here are the lambs for the Padres. Alcides Escobar at short, Will Myers at center, Matt Camp at right, Justin Upton in left, Will Middlebrooks at third, Yonder Alonso at first, Derek Norris at catcher, Jed Jerko at second, and the pitcher, and Drew Kashner. They will be going against Jordan Zimmerman, who went 17-6 this past season with a 2-3-6 ERA and 218 strikeouts. So here comes Will Myers up to bat with one out. Full count to him is inside, but it catches the strike zone, and Myers is down on strikes. Zimmerman with a nice start. Next batter he faces, Matt Kemp. 1-2 pitch to him is hit up the middle for a base hit. So Kemp starting off the night for the Padres with the base hits. And he will get on base. Next batter, Justin Upton. Kemp is going for second. And he will get there, unfortunately. Upton swung. And he will be retired. So, after one inning, Jordan Zimmerman allows no runs and one hit, and we are still tied up at zero. Here is the lineup for the Nationals. Gwynn Jr., Desmond, Hosmer, Harbour, Zimmerman, Ramos, Dozier, Taylor, and Jordan and Zimmerman, and they will be going against Andrew Kashner for the San Diego Padres. He went 12-14 and 14 this past season with a 3-2-8 ERA and 158 strikeouts. Bottom one, two outs, base is empty. One-two pitch to Eric Hosmer is popped up. Just in front of Hosmer, he takes a couple of steps forward. He's under it, and he makes the catch. So just like Zimmerman, Kashner is out of the first inning, and he is rolling. Top of the second now. Runner on first with one out, and this is Derek Norris taking this one deep into right center. Harper's going back at the track, and he will make the catch. So the runner at first will have to retreat, but Derek Norris puts a little bit of a scare there to Jordan Zimmerman. Bottom of the second now. Bryce Harper up to bat. Base is empty and no outs. Kashner deals. The one-two pitch is swung on and missed. Bryce Harper strikes out, and that will bring Jordan Zimmerman to the plate. 3-2 pitch to him. Kashner delivers, and it is just low as he misses with the slider, and that will put Zimmerman on first. So, later in the game, Brian Dozier up to bat. Runner on first. That's Zimmerman. One-two pitch to Dozers coming, and he is hitting this one into right field. Camp is going back. Should be able to make the catch as he comes in and makes the catch. So after two innings, we are still scoreless here at Nationals Park. Moving on. Bottom of the third. No one on base. One out. One-one pitch is hit into right. And out of all people, that's Jordan Zimmerman getting the hit. So he is on first with the base hit. Next batter for the Nationals. Full count for Kashner. He deals, and that is hit over to short. Escobar over to second, Jerko over to first, and the inning is over. Padres and Nationals both scoreless, and into the fourth inning we go. Will Middlebrooks up to bat with an out and a runner on first. He jacks that one into left. It's over the head of Michael Taylor, and the Padres are in business. Both runners advance and are now at second and third as Middlebrooks gets the double. Next batter for the Padres is going to be Yonder Alonso. 1-2 pitch to him is here. He hits it over to second. Dozier throws him out. But unfortunately for the Nationals, the run will come across. It is Kemp. And once again, the Padres own the 1-0 lead early in this one. Bottom of the fourth, Kashner deals. And that is going to be a walk to Eric Hosmer. He puts him on base. And that's bad news for Kashner as Bryce Harper is up to the plates. Runners on first and second out. 1-1 pitch to Harper. Kashner deals. Harper hits this one down the left field line. Fair. Upton racing to the left field wall. He'll pick it up, but one run will score, and that is a huge double for Bryce Harper as he ties up the game at one. Runners on second and third now for Wilson Ramos, the catcher. 2-2 pitch coming. Kashner deals. Ramos hits this one over to second. Jerko throws him out. 
But when it's all said and done, the Padres do give up another run, and they are losing the game now 2-1. to one. So here comes Will Myers up to bat in the top of the sixth. 2-1 pitch coming to him with the bases empty and no outs. Zimmerman deals, and Myers smacks it to left. You can kiss that one goodbye. That was out in a hurry, and Will Myers has tied up this ball game at 2. Will Myers is known for his power at some times, and he is showing it off there with a laser beam into left. So we'll move to the bottom of the six. Eric Hosmer up to bat. The one two pitch to him is hung, and he takes advantage of that. Andrew Kashner's going to pay for it as Eric Hosmer goes deep, and just as quickly as Myers ties it up, Hosmer unties it. It's now 3 2 Nationals here in the sixth due to a home run here by Eric Hosmer. So, not really what the Padres wanted to do there. They are going to have to make up for it first. They don't want to give up any more runs. So, they're going to send out Nick Vincent, who is going to hopefully do just that. One two pitch coming, and that is hit down the right field line, and that is going to be extra bases. Kemp is there, he'll throw it in. But uh, unfortunately here for the Padres, that's going to be a double for Brian Dozier. Next better now for the Nationals. And that is hit over to short. And Escobar makes the catch. So Tony Gwynn Jr., the son of the former Mr. Padre, is retired. Aaron Barrett coming in to relieve for Jordan Zimmerman. Both these pitchers for both teams only going six innings. And Barrett is going to walk Matt Kemp here. Puts him on base. Next batter for the Padres. Justin Upton here. Runners on first and second, and he's taking a walk. So the bases are loaded for the Padres, and this could be huge. They're bringing in Matt Thornton here to relieve Barrett, and hopefully the Padres can get something going. Bases loaded for Will Middlebrooks. He's hitting this one over to second. Dozier makes a play, and they will not turn the double play. The run will come home and score. And it's tied up at three. Will Middlebrooks looks like he's hitting into a double play, but he gets out of it. He is safe. Unfortunately, Yonder Alonso cannot bring home the runner from third. And as a result, it remains a 3-3 ball game. So the Padres tied up, and they will send Craig Kimbrell to the mound here in the bottom of the ninth, trying to prevent a walk-off from the Nationals. Zimmerman up to bat, and Kimbrell misses with the knuckle curve. And Zimmerman goes to first. One two pitch now. This is Wilson Ramos, and he strikes out. This is huge as the Padres need to get out of this if they want to continue. Kimbrell, one two pitch to Dozier, and he strikes him out. Two down here in the bottom of the ninth. Kimbrell is rolling. Two two pitch now to Michael Taylor, and he strikes him out after allowing a leadoff walk to Zimmerman. Kimbrell comes in. And does his job. 3-3 three, three here and we are going to extras. Nationals bringing in Evan Meek here. Who has made one appearance here in these playoffs. 2-2 two, two pitch coming to Matt Kemp. And he drills this into right center. That will fall. Harper is there. But Kemp is going to second. And he will make it with a two-out double. A stand-up double for Kemp. And the Padres are in business. Next batter. Justin Upton trying to get Kemp home to give the Padres the lead. The 3-1 pitch is hit over to short, and Desmond is going to retire Upton. And we are moving on now to the bottom of the 10th. Sean Kelly coming in after a terrible performance last game. We believe in him with a 27 ERA trying to fix that up. Here's the 3-2 pitch to Michael Taylor, and he is down on strikes as strikeout for Sean Kelly. Next batter is Ian Desmond. The 2-2 pitch to him is swung on and missed. So back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the 10th for Sean Kelly. A little bit of redemption, and we are on to inning number 11. He's still on the mound. Bryce Harper up to bat, and he's just looking. A high fastball fools him, and Kelly is rolling. Next batter, Ryan Zimmerman is down on strikes. He's just looking, and Kelly gets out of back-to-back -back innings with four strikeouts. Kevin Quackenbush coming now into relief. And he is here in the 12th inning. 3-2 pitch is hammered into right. Kemp is not going to be able to get there fast enough. And as a result, that's a grand rule double for the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Next batter is the pinch hitter, Lobaton. And he is taking a walk. 
So the Nationals in business here as they have a runner in scoring position and Quackenbush needs to get out of this. The left fielder Reed Johnson up to bat. 2-2 two -two pitch to him is hit into right. Kemp is there and he makes the catch. Runner will tag. That is Ramos. And now there's runners on the corners for the Padres, but an important out there for Quackenbush. Next batter, Tony Gwynn Jr., the son of Mr. Padre. The one-two pitch to him is popped up just above Alcides Escobar. If he makes the catch, they're out of the inning, and he does just that. So the Padres face a little bit of a bump, and they get over it. Blake Terrian is in to relieve for the Nationals. 13th inning. Will Myers up to bat, and he is swinging and missing at that low changeup, and he is down on strikes. Next batter, Matt Kemp. Once you pitch to him, and he is swinging and missing on the exact same pitch. A low changeup, and there's two down here for the Padres. Next batter, Justin Upton. Here's the pitch, and back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back strikeouts is good enough to put away the Padres. Joaquin Benoit is in to relief for the Padres. Yes, folks, we are in the 14th inning. Danny Espinoza, the relief catcher for the Nationals, is up, and he is just looking. The low curveball gets him, and Benoit is rolling. Next batter, one-two pitch is Dozier, and he's swinging and missing on that low fastball. We are moving on. We are now headed to the 15th inning here in Nationals Park. Many still staying and waiting for the end of this game. We are bringing in Noah Syndergaard, who is in the rotation for the regular season, but he's in the bullpen for the playoffs. Hopefully he can give us a bunch of innings in relief and not allow any runs. 2-2 pitch now, and that is a strikeout. An easy one at that for Noah Syndergaard. Not really used to being in a relief spot, but he is today, and he will look to get out of that. 3-2 pitch now, and this is hit into right field. Kemp is going back, and he'll make the catch. So the Padres do escape a little bit of a scare there, and they will get out of it. Next batter for the Nationals. Ian Desmond pops it up. Alonzo should be able to make this catch right in front of the Nationals dugouts. And he will. So the inning is over. And it is still 3-3 as we head into the 16th inning. Justin Upton up to the plate. 0-2 pitch coming. And he is swinging and missing. So, next batter. Will Middlebrooks with a runner on first. That's Matt Kemp. He's taken off for second. And he is in there. You don't see that very often from Matt Kemp. But he has a bit of speed. And he is at second. Will Middlebrooks can give the Padres the lead. And he gets them one batter closer as he takes the walk. As Tanner Rorak is in a bit of a jam. Yonder Alonso comes up to bat with runners on first and second. One out and the 2-1 pitch coming. Yonder Alonso gets the pitch, takes it. Deep center field. Tony Gwynn Jr. is back at the track. But he makes the catch. Matt Kemp tags up to third. And unfortunately... Yonder Alonso cannot convert. He hits it to the deepest part and still does not get it. So Derek Norris up to the plate with runners on the corners. 3-2 pitch to him coming. And he swings and misses. Well, Tanner Rorock was in a bit of a jam and he gets out of it. It's still 3-3 here in the 17th inning. And this time it's Tanner Rorak getting struck out. And we are on to the 18th inning. Almost two full games played here in Washington, and the fans still remain to see a Nationals walk-off victory. Top of the 18th now, Will Middlebrooks up to bat. 2-2 pitch is swung on and missed, and Tanner Rorak is out of the inning. We are headed to the bottom of the 18th as Middlebrooks is down on strikes, and the Nationals will send Michael Taylor to the plate. 1-1 pitch to him. Syndergaard deals, and Taylor hits this one up the middle for a base hit. So... The Nationals have a little bit of life here in the 18th. And they will look to continue as Michael Taylor is on base. Next batter, Ian Desmond. He hits this one over to short. And that is a misplay by Alcides Escobar. It falls into left. And now there are runners on first and second for the Nationals. Up to the plate will come Eric Hosmer. See if he can get the walk-off victory for the Nationals. As the pitch is coming from Syndergaard, and Hosmer will pop this up into right. Kemp will come in. He will make the catch, and the runner from seconds, which is Michael Taylor, will tag up. And now there are runners on the corners for guess who? 
Bryce Harper, who's one for seven on the day, can win it for the Nationals. 2-1 pitch is hit into left. This may do it. Upton is back. Track. And he can't find it. It drops. The Nationals win the ball game. A marathon here at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. is ended by a walk-off error as Harper gives the Nationals the victory and a commanding 2-0 series lead in this one. Man, that is a tough break for the Padres and all of their fans as they will go to game number three at Petco Park in San Diego to try to keep their season alive. Eric Hosmer, the player of the game, as he helped his team reach the victory. And it's a 5-3 victory for the Washington Nationals. We'll head to game number three in Petco Park next game. I hope you enjoyed. We will see you next game, folks. Good night.